Good morning. Time to make the coffee. And I'm so excited. One of my viewer friends, Kathy, sent me this lovely box of Crazy Cups coffee. And it's chocolate raspberry truffle. Yum. So thank you so much, Kathy. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So we're trying that this morning. And of course, I'll have it with the chocolate caramel creamer. So I was very excited to get that friend mail. Anyway, today is going to be 46 degrees. And then I think we're supposed to have a day of colder weather and then it's going to warm up again. So I'm hoping to stay home today, but I don't know. I may go visit my mom while the weather's holding out. So I'm excited to give this a taste. I didn't polish my nails yet. They need to be done. Let's give this a try. Sometimes when I get a new coffee, I have to adjust the water, depending on how strong the coffee is. But this says it's a medium roast, so it should be good. All right, let's give it a try. Thank you, Kathy. There's 22 cups in there. Cheers. Mmm. Very good. Very yummy. <clears throat> so now I have more chocolate raspberry coffee. Well, today I want to declutter some shirts, some t-shirts, because I've over... what's the word? <laughs> Overfilled. Overfilled my limit of closet space that I have on t-shirts. And I have a lot of t-shirts. I like to have t-shirts in a lot of different colors because I wear them with sweaters or jackets, um, under blouses. So I do wear a lot of t-shirts. I'm not talking about the logo t-shirts. I'm just talking about the plain old t-shirts. Long sleeves, short sleeves. Some are printed, some are not. Um, and every once in a while I'll find a logo t-shirt that I really love, like my Swedish chef one. Uh, <laughs> I found that one online. And then I found one, actually it was two. Um, I got one for me and one for Tom when we were still a couple. And it said... Um, Mulder, it's me, and the other one said, Scully, it's me. I don't know if you, if I have any X-Files fans out there, but uh, it was one of the things that we used to do. We would watch the X-Files, and they were always, Mulder and Scully were always running around with the flashlights in the dark. Um, Mulder, it's me. Scully, it's me. I still love that show. Well, anyway... <clears throat> I really should cook something today, but I don't know. I've been kind of grooving on the decluttering and organizing, and by the time I'm done with that, I don't feel like cooking. So, But I do have to make something eventually. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy this lovely chocolate raspberry truffle coffee and take a look at my budget, and I have to see if any bills were taken out yesterday and uh, keep a handle on that. I like to do that first thing in the morning because if I put it off then you know how that goes. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. So <clears throat> I like to do it with my morning coffee. So all right I'm going to go ponder on what I want to do today.
Yay! Well, here's my declutter project for today. I have this box and these long sleeve t-shirts and I'm going to refold these, purge what I don't want, and then put them in this box. And the box fits perfectly in this space. Now over here I have more t-shirts than I need to declutter. These are already in their own space. I believe these are mostly black. And I have some random things over here. So this is going to be my project. I won't finish it today. I'm just going to declutter for maybe a half an hour and uh, get her done. All right, well, here's some of the shirts that I organized. So these are all long sleeve. These are all brown. And these are obviously green. So those will be going up into the closet. And I'll write on here brown and green. That way I'll know what's in there. Because obviously you can't see through the box. But I didn't really feel like going and buying some um, organizers. Since I'm trying to save money, I want to use what I have and what works. So that will definitely work for now. Alright, so this will do until I get a label made. I maybe get a chalkboard label or something, but it fits perfectly in here. I have some of these bins. Uh, eventually I'd like to get all just these bins because I have these things sectioned off in sections. But I try to color coordinate most of my t-shirts so that if I want to wear it with something else like a shirt or something like that, um, I can just go in and pick a shirt and it's easy peasy. So this will do for now. If I need to, I can still put a few more t-shirts here. I can roll them if I want, but um, I'm not going to do the whole uh, shelf today. So I just thought I'd do a little bit of organizing and decluttering, and it was more organizing than decluttering because I've been through these before. Some of these I think can go, maybe I'll look through those yet. I'm not sure. All right, so that's my organizing and decluttering project for the day. I did a little bit more on the decluttering. I got this half of the closet done. And like I said, I wanna get more of these eventually. They're not that expensive. I got those at Mark's. So, uh, but for now, this is what I have. And then this half of the closet, I'm going to save for, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I have to find some more smaller boxes. I'm sure I have some in the garage. All right, that's it for now. I'm just going to have a very simple dinner. Yesterday I had a baked potato and finishing up the lettuce and um, today I may have the same or I may just have a sandwich. All right. Well, I was looking through my fridge because you guys know how much I like to do that and I have all these olive brines. Um, this one actually still has some, a couple of uh, stuffed um, with cheddar cheese but I like to save the brine because I know that you can use the brine in making vegan cheeses and I'd like to get more into that this is just the brine from uh, black olives so what I was thinking of doing because I like black olives but you know they're kind of on the bland side 
So I think what I'm going to do is put this Kalamata olive juice in with this stuffed olive juice, which was uh, stuffed with garlic. And then I'm just going to put these black olives in here, and they'll take on the taste of the other olives. So I'm going to save a few for my salad because I'm just going to have a sandwich and salad. But anyway, that gets some of the clutter out of my refrigerator. And then I will try and use this juice to make some vegan cheese. And when I use these up, I'll put those in there too. So just playing with my food. All right, be right back. Okay, so here's the sam sandwich I'm making. I have the marble rye, and I have um, some sliced cucumber, some cream cheese that I sprinkled, the ranch, the ranch over. So I've got that going on. Whoops. Um, I have this little tiny bit of homemade... Uh, pea salad of uh, luncheon meat that was in the freezer. I'm going to put that on there because I want to use it up. All right, and then I have some of this pepperoni that I bought for 99 cents. I want to use that up so it doesn't go bad. So I'm making like a deli sandwich. Trying to use up what I have because you guys know how much I like to do that. So there we go with that. And then I'm going to put on um, a little bit of lettuce. I'm trying to use that up too. That was from a flash food haul. So I'm using that up, and then I butter on that half, because everything's better with butter, right? So I think I'm going to call that good, but I want to put a little mayo on there yet. All right, so this Dijonais, which was my favorite uh, mayonnaise, mustardy kind of thing, is going on and that's the last of it. I'm very sad because I guess Hellman's doesn't make it anymore. I don't know why because it's delicious. So anyway I bought Dijon mustard and I have mayo and I'm just gonna try and make my own. Alright so that is the sandwich fixings. I could put a tomato on there, but I'm not going to cut open a tomato now. And then I'm just going to finish up this salad and have a salad with it. I'll cut this in half. That is a big sandwich, folks. I hope I can eat it. If not, I'll save it and eat it tomorrow. Because this is a very, very low waste kitchen. You can't save money if you keep throwing your food money out the window. I have a bunch of olives here too that I want to finish up. And of course my puppies, they want to have their lettuce. So, but I'm just going to cut this up first. So I'm glad I got that uh, shelf decluttered today. It doesn't always have to be a big, huge project. You know, it can be a small project. Anything, everything helps. Okay, well that takes care of the lettuce.
And yesterday I had the other half of this uh, lettuce with a baked potato, and that was delicious. So I'm going to add the olives, and these can go on the salad itself. I'm going to cut up a little more cucumber, because I have another cucumber in the fridge, and I want to use those up. I might pickle a couple of them, or a couple slices of them. You know what I mean. Okay. And then I'm going to also add a little bit of this Colby Jack cheese, which needs to be used up. Bought that on sale, oh, maybe a month, month and a half ago, and it's still perfectly fine. And then I think I'm going to put some ranch dressing on the salad. I could put Italian dressing on, but I'm kind of in the mood for ranch dressing. So, okay, here's dinner for tonight. And I'll be back in a little bit after I eat dinner. Oh, dinner hit the spot. I don't know. I've been in a mood for sandwiches lately. That's why I bought the bread um, when I did my grocery haul. Um, I like bread and salad. Bread and, um, you know, it, it's good for um, uh, veggie patties. You can make, um, oh, what do you call them? Um, Hmm. Senior moment. Patty melts. That's it. <laughs> you can make patty melts out of them. So, um, that's why I bought quite a bit of bread this time. So, I had a little bit of a productive day. I just kind of grazed for, for brunch today. Still had some panettone that my mom gave me, so I had some of that, and a banana, you know, just random food I had around. So sometimes it's nice to have days like that. Right, buddy? Is it nice to have days like that? Yes, I know. I know you are such a good boy. Yes, you are such a good boy. <laughs> and she's jealous. <laughs> You're a good girl. Come over here. Anyway, um, oh, stop. Oh, I'm being inundated with dogs. They see my other half a sandwich, so I really was only able to eat half. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, I just wanted to come back and, um, say it wasn't an overproductive day, but it was a good day. And I didn't spend any money. So, yay! I stayed home. And, um, so I think that's day number five of No Spend. I know a lot of people did No Spend January. Um, I spent too much in January, so I'm doing a Low Spend February. I'm not doing a No Spend. If I need something, I'll get it. But... Like I said, the way I do my no spend is um, I just track my days. You know, like, well, you guys know. Um, I don't do any blocks of no spend. Like, I'm not spending any money this week. You know, I don't do that anymore. I just randomly intersperse the no spend days as many as I can into the, uh, into the month. And um, once I started tracking the, the no spend days, uh, that worked great last month in January. So the second half of the, uh, of the month, once I started tracking what I was doing uh, and became a little more aware, it went great. So that's my new way of doing it. Um, I don't feel deprived at all. 
I know if I really, really want something, I can go ahead and buy it because I don't have that, oh, I can't spend it for another three days. But it, it sort of, um, tracking it stops me from just randomly spending. I guess that's what I want to say. So, all right, still decluttering. Um, I want to finish my closets, and then I need to get moving, move on to my plant room, because I do want to do some planting, some indoor gardening, with my little arrow garden type knockoffs. But I don't want to start another project. I want to systematically get things done. And I'm finding the more I'm doing that, the less I feel like, oh my God, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. I, I, my gotta do list is much shorter. Now I have, I want to do this today. So that's what I've been doing, it's been working great. And uh, that's all I have for you today, my friends. So I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself, be good to others, God bless you. And if you're on a declutter journey, or you're on a cooking journey, whatever journey you're on, leave me a comment below and let us all know. All right, I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.